I'm in the shed today wiring some sensors into Stephen's car. So last week he's purchased an S1 sequential, which pretty much uh, converts his standard uh, H pattern gearbox into a sequentially shifted gearbox. So it's pretty damn cool. He's installed it during the week and it looks like this. It is super race. And he's also made this aluminium cover to go over it. And damn, is that flush. So today we are going to install the whole effect sensor to see his gear position on the Motec dash. So the sensor looks like this. We're gonna wire in zero volt, five volt, and pretty sure it just outputs a analog zero to five volt voltage. So we'll use the ECU for that, and then we'll can it across to the dash. And we're also using the standard reverse switch in the gearbox. So we've got a plug for that and I'm pretty sure that one's just going to be a 12 volt supply and a switched signal back. So I think the best thing to do with that is just wire it into the PDM because we're not currently using any inputs in the PDM. This has 12 inputs we can use. So pretty much it'll have a constant 12 volt to the sensor. And then when you engage reverse, it will complete the circuit and then tell the PDM, yep, reverse is on. And then we'll can that across to the dash and the ECU. So let's get started. So the M130 only comes with two zero volts and two five volts. So you end up splicing each of those into like six each. And luckily I was smart enough initially to leave two spare zero volts for future additions. But for some reason, I was not smart enough to have spare five volts. So. We're going to have to get in here. I think we'll take C9 and splice this wire here. And then we'll add some spares for future. But it's going to be tight and there's going to be a lot of swearing. Hindsight.
look into my window seem to recognize all the people passing by So the zero volt and the five volt is wired up and we have a spare now in case we ever need it. Um, just looking at where to wire the actual sensor and I didn't actually check this before, but we've only got one spare. So I guess it's gonna have to go into analog voltage eight at a B22. Don't mind the D, I never change the schematic from mine. Alright, time to program the sensor and see if we've blown anything up. It's always fun. Alright, good sign, good sign. That's the main resource. I'm going to choose analog voltage 8, which is that B22. So first we need to adjust our diag values. So at the time that the sensor's in fault, uh, 0 0.5 should be fine for an, a fault value and then our high is usually 4.5 we will try that so first we adjust our offset so that's going to be when the sensor is at 0% so for us that's neutral so we'll cue that that's just going to read the value of the sensor and save it and then we need to do the high value and that's the scale so this one is going to be when the gearbox is in sixth gear. So I had a few issues calibrating the sensor. It was easier to go downwards. So neutral is like 4.4 volts and then we go one volt or something for sixth gear. And I think I've had the shifter out like four times because I kept screwing it up. But it's finally in the right position. This is where it sits. So we'll set our offset here and we'll Q, press Q to get our voltage in there. Save. Wait for the ECU to reset and now we have to do our scale. So our scale is going to be the highest, um, well in this case the lowest voltage but it has to be the highest gear. So we'll go into sixth gear. What is that? That is 0 0.7 volts. So we'll press Q. We've got our reference and save the package. Now we get to calibrate all the gears. So sixth gear, we have press Q, 100%. Go down to fifth, press Q. Fourth, Q, third, second, first, let's give it a test. So we're in neutral now. First, second, third, 
fourth, fifth, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, first, neutral, which is, well, to be fair, it's also reversed when we put this, this little doodle down. All right, so now we've got to hook it up to the dash, so I'll change around Stephen's config to have a gear position indicator on there and we'll can that across and we've also got to wire the reverse switch and we can wire it into the ECU but I think we'll just get it into the PDM and canned across. So the PDM is rather cool because all the inputs are actually internally pulled up to 12 volts which means you don't need a dedicated 12 volt running to your sensor you don't need to decide where it comes from and when it comes on so all you need is an input and a zero volt and the PDM happens to have a zero volt that we can use so we've just used that in this case <laughs> Let's connect to the PDM, everything's wired up. Now we want to go to input pins and we've wired up B20. So we'll just name this reverse switch and I'm guessing it's active low. So your channel is false when input voltage is above say, we'll just do 6 volts and its channel is true when the input voltage is yeah, below 3.6 because it'll be zero. So whatever, that's fine. We'll click OK. And that's all set up. So we'll just save it and send it. All right, so we got 12 volts on the reverse switch when we are not in reverse. So let's try get into reverse. So switch back and then this way. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is a display creator config that I made for Stephen a while back. And I could do all of this logic inside Dash Manager, but Display Creator makes it really easy. So pretty much I'm just using a switch case to determine whether we're displaying the gear position from the whole effect sensor or from the reverse switch. So I've pretty much set up quite simple logic here. If the reverse switch is on, it just overrides any gear position that the whole effect sensor is sending.